Hello, my name is Solomon from Gentleman's Club and today we are going to be learning about parallel processing and how you can implement it into your productions on Reason Studios. Let's go. So if you're unaware of how to parallel process, you go to the channel which we'd like to parallel process, you right click and it's right there, create parallel channel. And there you can see you've got a P1 and that's parallel one. So the first method I'm going to show you today is parallel compression. You can hear the original drum beat. And we'll begin to parallel process. So what I like to do for drum beats and drums in general is to use the pulverizer. Um, how you process this is it's completely up to you whatever sounds good um but this is what i'm going to do now is what i find works for myself and what i like in, in our productions so squash i turn that all the way up so you're just getting the transient so i'm going to solo the p1 now and so you can just hear the parallel without the original signal So as you can hear now, it's you just catching the starts of the transients, but it's quite a tail on there still. So what you can do to combat the tail is you can play with the release. So I'll move that around now and you can hear. And that's really shortening the tail down and you're just catching just the transients. Um, and after that, you can play with the dirt and uh, use that to your desired effect. depending on how you want it to sound at the end of the day. So I'm going to play both at the same time now and I'm going to blend them in and see whereabouts on the knob I'd like to do it to be. So I'll show you now with and without. As you can probably hear now, it's got a little bit more energy to it. It's uh, it's pushing some of the lower lower volume stuff up, and it's um, yeah, it's just filling out the break. Next, we're going to throw another parallel channel on here. This is something that I like to do on drum breaks to help a break sound like it's in the same room. I use this in all our gentlemen's club productions on drums, on house, dubstep, bass line. It just really helps to glue the sounds together and just make it a little more coherent um, and make everything sound like they should be in the same room together. So before throwing the reverb on, I always recommend to put an EQ first, just to take out the low end because otherwise you can have a reverb on the kick drums and you don't want low end in your reverb. So take out the low end, and I do tend to take out the high end as well. Perfect. And now we'll throw a reverb on there. My go-to for reverb is the Valhalla reverbs. A little trick for anyone, you can actually time your reverbs so they're on time with the BPM. And that just helps to make everything just as tight as possible, especially in something like drum and bass where you need as much space as possible. Utilizing these these reverbs just to get tight, short reverbs can really can really make a difference. So for this one, I'm going to use one I made before, which is a quarter note reverb. When parallel processing and using it for reverb, always keep your reverb 100% wet because otherwise you're going to have clashing signals and it's never good. So here you can hear the reverb. And we'll throw another EQ on at the end, just in case there's any low end on there. Because again, you don't want any low end on that on this reverb. Perfect. 
Perfect. And now, same again, I'm going to bring it down to zero and I'm going to ride it up until I'm happy with how it sounds. And as you can probably hear now, it's really given the drums some width, some stereo. And this is great for if you've got drums which are in mono or a drum loop which is in mono, you can just give it some life. So I'm going to play with them about again now. This is without. So yeah, that's given it some extra life. And a final trick from me is create another parallel. And this one really helps to bring some extra crispiness to the top of your drums. For this, I'm gonna use the Denise Noise 2. If that's how you pronounce it. So I'm gonna solo it. Hit solo on there, bring the mix up to 100% and you'll just get the noise now. And then I'm going to bring down this fall until it's hitting at around the same time as the drum hits. High pass filter it, get that low end out. And the stereo, whatever sounds good. And now I'm gonna, again, blend it in and see where it sounds good. And there's everything together for the drums. So I'm going to play the original drum loop on its own now. And I'm going to bring in each element after it and you can hear the difference. And there we have it. Parallel processing on your drums, good stuff. Next, I'm gonna show you how you can incorporate parallel processing onto vocals. When using reverb on vocals, you need to be careful because you're compromising the signal with reverb. So I'll show you with a reverb on the actual vocal originally. It's just washed out in the background and that, that can be good, again, to your own desires, it's a, it can work, but if you want your vocals to be standing out within your song, I highly recommend Paolo processing. So same as before, right click, create parallel channel, and now we're going to add an EQ like before, take out that low end, soloed the parallel chain for this one. Cause it was written in the sky. And take some high end out for this one. Just get that sizzle out of the reverb. Come alive. And now we're gonna add some reverb. Again, my go-to is the Valhalla. And I'm gonna add two bar hall reverb, 100% wetness. And you can hear it. And again, I'm going to ride it in. Can't deny, cause it was written in the sky. Come alive for one night, let your body lead your mind. And as you can hear, we've still got the original signal, and now we've got the added reverb signal. And there's nothing compromised, you're getting both signals and you've got so much more freedom where you can fiddle around with the reverb, you can EQ it, you can add 
compression, OTTs, whatever you want, and you've got a lot more freedom and you've still got the original signal. So what I'm gonna do now is add another parallel and I'm gonna add a delay to this one. I recommend FabFilter Timeless 2 for delays. It's one of my favorites. So I, I just skip through the presets, find one I like. For one night, let your body lead your mind. Can't deny, cause it was written in the sky. Come alive, for one night. The reason like this is because I can take on the dry mix now and I'm left with just a wet signal which I've got full freedom to control. So again, I'm gonna ride it in and see where it sounds good. Come alive for one night, let your body lead your mind. Can't deny, cause it was written in the sky. Come alive for one night, let your body lead your mind. So that's something much more interesting now. And the glory of parallel processing is you're saving a heap of CPU because you're just using one signal which has been split into your parallels. And what you can always do as well is once you've created your parallels, you can then select them all and you can add them to a bus and then you can process the whole parallel chain together. Come alive for one night Let your body lead your mind Can't deny Cause it was written in the sky And finally I'm going to show you how you can use Parallel processing on Synths Whether this is bases Pads, atmospheres, whatever Here's something I made in Serum Nothing special I'm going to show you now how you can use parallel processing to spice it up. So again, right click, create parallel channel, and here we have the parallel to that. This time, I would like to give it some width. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some reverb. Again, the classic tempoed. If you want to give something some width, um, if you just add a short reverb to it, always does the job. I'm going to write it in. another one and we're gonna add something a bit, bit different this time I'm not sure if you're familiar with output portal but if you've not heard of it before I highly recommend this for effects the presets on here are amazing I'm sure that 50 oh yeah he loves it he loves it <laughs> so I'm gonna go through some presets now um, and then yeah we'll whap it into the mix Well, that's cool already. So easy. Like I said, output portal, fantastic stuff. I'm just gonna add some EQ to this because it goes down an octave. So it's got some low end in there. And I'm gonna blend it in. So here we go. I'm gonna play now the original with the reverb and I'm going to bring the portal in. And final tip is volume automation. So whether it's reverb or effects, the glory of parallel is you've got the control to volume automate everything so let's just say you didn't want the portal at the start but you want it just to blend in just towards the end of the bar we can do that so here we have the portal and i've got a volume automation on there sweeping towards the end and we must to now blend in And there we have it. Some quick tips and tricks to parallel process in Reason. I hope you found this information useful and you can take it away to use in your own productions. 
thank you very much for watching it's been solomon from gentleman's club and we'll see you soon reason studios see you in a bit